sex. And now that I have your attention, no, no I'm not going to use that age old cliche, but I do have a theory. I, you know me by now, I have lots of theories. I have a theory about sex and money that these are the kind of topics that you don't usually have to think about as long as your needs are being met. And if you don't have enough to meet your needs, then that is all you can think about. And I want to extend this theory to another thing, and that is, in case this is not a universal symbol, I'm talking about going to the bathroom for number one. Um, and do you remember that scene in uh, Big Bang Theory? That reminds me, I have a bone to pick with you. What? You and I made a pact that if either of us ever got a hot girlfriend, that person would have his girlfriend hook the other guy up with one of her girlfriends. Yeah, I don't remember that. June 30th, 2004. <laughs> Opening day of Spider-Man 2 at the AMC Pasadena. They only had red ICs, no blue. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you've been with Penny for like a month and a half now. Where's my shorty, Morty? Well, Howard, you can't hold me to that. Wait, why not? Because when I made that agreement, I didn't think I'd ever have a hot girlfriend, and I was positive you never would. <laughs> How come I wasn't part of this deal? You had left the refreshment stand in order to indulge in your customary preemptive pre-show urination. <laughs> Wait, so that's how it works? I have a teeny bladder and now I don't get a hot girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, Raj, that's how it works. Damn. Uh, so, and another scene there is in Big Bang Theory as well, when uh, the guys have a robbery in their apartment and then after that uh, Sheldon gets very paranoid so he sleeps with, uh, he puts all the furniture against the door uh, of his bedroom and then as soon as he gets in the bed he's, he has to go <laughs> go to the bath and he, he tries to convince his body by, uh, by chanting, I am the master of my bladder, I am the master of my bladder. So. What I'm saying is, this is another thing which you don't need to think about because it's very trivial. You have to go to the bathroom, you go to the bathroom, that's it. What's there to talk about, what's there to think about, unless there's a situation where... Imagine a scene when you are watching a movie in the cinema and this is like a really great scene where uh, lots of good action or drama or romance, whatever you are into, that's happening on the screen and you're totally absorbed in the movie, you're enjoying it so much, and then suddenly you realize, oh no, God, I have to go to the bathroom. And that starts a few, few minutes of your life when you're completely torn whether you want to go to the bathroom or whether you want to just hold it for a few more minutes and let the scene pass, but you don't know. The next scene might be even more legendary, even better, or it might be a slow scene where you would be safe to go to the bathroom and come back. You don't know, and that is the problem. So if you, if you were watching like a Bollywood movie, you would be all right because they always have an intermission. Even if you are watching that in UK, they have intermission in there. But if you're watching a Hollywood movie, mm, you're screwed. Aha, but now thankfully there's an app for that. So this app, which is called Run P, uh, is, I think it's quite ingenious because it fills a genuine need and is simple to use and it's got lots of nice, features, tweaks that actually are useful. Um, so basically what it does is, I think these people do it manually, they go to the new movies and then note things down and then later on they uh, upload these things to the database. And uh, what it does, it gives you a few P times, so uh, which can be anywhere. It, it will give you P times based on where they are in the movie, like 55 minutes, 20 seconds after the movie starts. And it will give you uh, something like this character says this dialogue, and after that there's this P time. And it gives you a dur um, duration about like two minutes, three minutes for which. and. Then there's a little summary of what happens during those two minutes so that you know exactly what you are going to miss when you go to the bathroom during that pee break, uh, pee time. Uh, and also there's a whole synopsis as to what exactly happens in detail as well. So uh, I don't know when you have to read this because I don't know if you would read it in the beginning because that would give you spoilers about the movie uh, and you obviously can't do uh, your business and uh, read this with the one hand as well. So I think you would read it afterwards to catch up as to what exactly you missed. Uh, but it gives you the synopsis, so the option is there if you want to read it. Um, and then it gives you a few, 
uh, whatever is possible in each movie, each movie is different. So it could be something simple like uh, this is story development, this character tells about his history to this character and there's no action and then afterwards something else would happen. And this is just a simple one, So, um, but there are a couple of nice twist to how you can uh, how can you can be reminded of these p times for example you can set an alarm in the app where it will remind you of each p time and then you can decide whether if you want to take advantage of that at the time uh, so for example you can uh, have everything ready and then it will say um, press the start button on the timer when the universal logo fades on the screen. So that way you see the logo and then you press it and then you're both synchronized. The app is following the same time of the movie. Uh, or uh, even more ingenious is that you can have everything ready on the phone and uh, turn the screen off and when that logo fades you just turn this uh, phone upside down and that will start the timer and then when there is when the time is coming up it will vibrate once and then it will vibrate once more when the p time actually starts so you can just go and go uh, go do your business and come back within those two minutes or three minutes you will know that um, so i think it's quite ingenious that way it's quite a useful app personally i Unfortunately, don't have a tiny bladder, which is evidenced by the fact that I sat through the whole uh, Avengers Endgame of three hours uh, without having to go. And even after I came out, I didn't actually have any urgent need to go. Uh, but then I take some precautions. So, for example, if you go for a new movie, they usually play about 26 minutes of adverts and trailers in there. So, if the movie is going to start at 8.10, it will probably start at 8.36. If the movie is important to me, I don't drink uh, any soda or anything. I do take a bottle of water with me, but that is just in case I choke. Um, and uh, this is, I, I can't support this with any medical research or anything, but I think if you have popcorn, because it's kind of dry and is uh, sometimes salty or it has sugar, it, it uh, reduces the moisture in the body. So it works in reverse, so you don't actually need to go. It helps you in that. I think, so based on my observation, on my personal experience, I can't, can't support that with any research. Uh, but if anybody's going to research on that, there's a topic. Um, but yeah, uh, so I do take those precautions and in case I choke on a piece of popcorn or anything, I just take the water with me or if I feel very, very thirsty, so I can have like a tiny sip of the water, that's it. Otherwise, I don't drink anything if the movie's important to me. If the movie's not important to me, I'll take nachos and a Diet Coke and just have fun and whenever I feel I have to, I have to go to the bathroom, get up and go to the bathroom. That's it, don't care. So, which, which would apply to most of the Warner Brothers movies like Shazam and things like that. So that was my recommendation. If you, uh, if you have this issue sometimes, if you have this need uh, during the movie, then definitely check this one out. And they always update with this, um, all the new movies as well. My recommendation, my suggestion would be that you open the app outside the cinema and update so that it gets the data for the new movies because in the cinema usually there's no signal uh, so that way you have all the data there then the rest of the application uh, it will work inside fine perfectly fine uh, so yeah thank you for watching this was day 68 uh, please subscribe and like and share the video if you feel somebody else could benefit from this recommendation and i'll see you tomorrow bye